There are so many shocking moments, but here are the highlights, if you will. I want to welcome you guys all to my big brother funeral. Season 14, Dan staging his own funeral. This guy was dead man walking and he had some sort of punishment where he was in solitary confinement. He had to be by himself for 24 hours. Did I really go crazy in solitary confinement? Or did I come up with a master plan to get myself out of this mess? That punishment was a blessing in disguise because he had time alone to think and have no other voices in his head. We can be friends outside of this. I'll be friends with all of you. But the game talk for me ends now. So I hope you guys understand that, that this was the death of Dan the player. As we're watching Dan conduct his own funeral, we're thinking this guy is either totally Looney Tunes and has sealed his own fate or he's going all the way. Watching the other house guests and their reactions said it all. It was more fascinating to watch how it was working on the others in the house. So we thought this kid is a genius. Can you at least give me a forewarning next time? No, because I need one crack. You are one sick person, Dan. Evil Dick's Pots and Pans, as a viewer, made me laugh every time. Now, if I were one of his housemates, I would want to strangle this guy, but I wasn't. I could turn down the volume on my TV and just laugh. Ooh, you're so scary. I all 150 pounds of you. Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh my God. Season three, Marcellus, not using this brand new power we introduced called the power veto. My sisters, my brothers, my mama, they're sitting at home and they're like, use the veto, fool! He was lulled into this false sense of security and convinced he was so safe and so beloved that he didn't save himself. As harsh and as terrible as it is, you should have used the veto. I'm sorry, but I vote to evict you, Marcellus. Let me just cut in here and make it official. Marcellus, you are now evicted from the Big Brother house. It was like, what? It was naive and sweet, all in one. First of all, Marcellus, I need to do this to you. Oh, no! Season 10, Keisha had the most sad little birthday party. Some huge fight erupted in the house. I know, shocker, it's Big Brother, that's just a Wednesday night. Who wants to come sing uh, happy birthday? We had pre-planned to have a birthday cake for her and everyone was forced to gather around after this explosive fight and sing her happy birthday. Hey, you don't I hurt me, around. Annie, Jesse. Okay. All you're doing is hurting yourself. Um, by, by, by listening to something else. It was every strange emotion I never thought I would feel in that moment watching her celebrate her sad birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Keisha. Happy birthday. Anybody want cake? Thanks, guys. Season two, Shannon taking the electric toothbrush that belonged to Hardy and making it a toilet scrub. Hardy, Shannon used her toothbrush to um, scrub the toilet. Huh? <laughs> For her to think that she could get away with it was ludicrous. The thing with Big Brother is something crazy can happen in the house. We've seen it all. We've thought it all through. We've had every type of shenanigan. That's why we have rules in the Big Brother house. Nothing surprises me after all these seasons. 